Hey everyone, this is Gary with Easy Go Junk Removal. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Here we are, first job of the day. And uh, it's a quick pickup. She had to go. We were a little late because of an accident on one of the roads. But we'll make quick work of this and we'll be out of here in no time. Love the minimums. And just like that, we are done. That was an easy, easy, uh, minimal type of job. How did we, how'd it go, Joe? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Fast and easy. Now we have a hot tub. That's not easy peasy. My favorite, yuck. But they pay well. That's the company go for. Joe, what? what do we got going? <laughs> yeah, about a seven by seven, not not the biggest, but oh yeah, but they're like this tall. Yeah, it's very tall. And uh, it's all wood. You're doing the cutting today? No. <laughs> so I may unscrew. So the re the reality is is they really do take a number on me because I get cramps. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'll have cramps throughout the night. But you know what? When it comes down to it, we do them because. Um, they're not that difficult. They just, there's some things that go along with them that are terrible. Well, this is the monster. It's about seven by seven. And uh, it's a Coleman. The top is pretty rotten. So we're gonna just cut this swing arm out and start taking this thing apart along with the steps. I always de them with the motor and the pumps, etc. And then we go on from there. I know that this is gonna have tubes that are gonna give us difficulty because they move instead of be rigid. They'll move and it's hard to difficult, uh, hard to cut. So what I try when I can get to them is I use pruning shears, which cut the tube extremely fast and easy. All right, man, every one of these are different. As you can see, this has got a lot of debris. We've already seen scorpions in here, but this has got like dirt and poo, dog poo. And there was no way a dog could get in there. So we're not sure. Maybe one of the kids are hiding. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, can you see the dog poo from here? Maybe not, but it's there. So we are um, exposing the skeleton here so we know where all the motors are and where the hoses are. And don't look all that terrible. So like I said, this is a uh, probably the fifth uh, Coleman that we've done and they're built fairly the same, but they're still not the simplest things. All right, we're going to get a move on. So I don't know how you guys like to do it. I like to take the frame out, expose all the holes, hoses, and then the next thing I do is I will take out the pumps and the motors and get this thing fully exposed. As you can see, you can see all the hoses and it just makes things a little easier with that rigid uh, insulation. When I cut the hoses that are uh, within it, it'll cut a little better than floppy, floppy hoses. Not as good as something stable, stable, but better. Do it a little different, but I like to see what I'm getting into. Um, and it does lighten up the tub quite a bit. I'm not sure what this uh, dirt and rock is down here, down there. Never really run into that. Usually they have a, a complete, you know, pad, but it doesn't look like that. And it looks like maybe they didn't complete that patio. And something's been digging in there and uh, coming in from underneath so we're gonna find out little by little the second load we're already adding to the first load as you can see we got the top on there we've degutted the whole thing we've cut one third of it off and if you guys don't have one of those she's your best girlfriend right there her name is Dolly get the best one you can I like the pneumatic tires if you can get uh, the airless they work just fine as long as you're not you know tearing them up on crap roads all the time if you do get pneumatic put a little slime in there and they really do work even with tubes so that that is a good uh, a good thing to put in your uh, truck too Kind of went wider on the backside, but it 
it's all it's all fun. So here we go. Always watch where you're going. And then from here, you manhandle it. Hey, Joe, what? would you mind grabbing that throw down the truck, please? This is the second easiest one we've done. Of course, we've only got a little more than a third out of there, but uh, so far so good. <laughs> about cleaning up after we go there is so much dog poop in there and god knows what else scorpions and such but joe's going to go ahead and get this stuff and i'm going to cut this in half because we are limited on the gate it will not go through that even though that's a really good size gate it's over three feet just over and uh we are we are happy with this one because it isn't the most difficult that we've done by far one final cut and then a cleanup we should be done it's pretty good huh joe we have the bottom part what's that we have the bottom part but well, that's your job babe i don't do i don't do no bottom part i just look at bottom parts <laughs> all right man we're down to the last piece and then the bottom still don't know where all that dirt and poop came from there was no entry place huh joe yep oh well second easiest hot tub ever we are so thankful all right man that is all done joe is putting the finishing touches on our tools cleaning them up before they go into the truck i'll pull that piece of paper off of that and the hot tub is completely gone the job is finished and we just know the customer will be happy because we cleaned it and it looks beautiful you need a hot tub removed give us a call that number right there 520-833-3964 y'all have heard what happens to a deer when it gets hit by a big boar rifle you should see what happens to a hot tub when it gets hit by a sawzall and a diablo blade right, man we just picked up a uh, a small curio for a minimum we love those minimums and then um i had dropped joe off she's got a, a doctor's appointment that she has to keep and then I've got two small jobs. One is uh, right around the corner here, and I'm not sure I'm gonna get film of it. Hopefully I will. Uh, if not, it's a couple of, uh, we're talking a small, small, like a dorm refrigerator, a dorm uh, freezer, and then a chest freezer, a small one. And that's uh, right at that minimum too. And so it's been fantastic. This is job number four already. Literally, uh, 10 minutes later <laughs> I uh, they all were small pieces and this is my my town um, I cut people deals here because everything is just a couple of miles left and right and up and down and we can do absolute wonders for people uh, so we do that uh, the next job uh, nobody would touch for what I'm doing but it's a above the uh, stove microwave and i'm doing it for uh, less than most of you would do anything for but i can do it because it's right around the corner right around the corner for me and uh i don't mind doing that yeah sometimes it's a um it's just doing a right thing it's an older guy it's a repeat customer we love them and uh i make my money don't get me wrong i'm not doing it near free i'm not like super super cheap like these folks here, they, they called me Sunday 
yeah they call me sunday and i gave them the price and i know what everybody charges here and i'm 20 30 bucks less and for a lot of people that is enough to make a difference first of all um, they'll go to my reviews and they'll see what is there and they will go oh i want to do business with them and second of all i want to own this place and so i can do things cheaper i don't have any mileage to go and i can do things and so that's what i do uh they called me back yesterday called me sunday and they called me back yesterday and said hey okay i will and i just talked to them and they go yeah everybody was way more expensive i'm making really good money on this i get to dump the freezers and everything free and i don't pay for that so therefore i can do it cheaper number one number two i have no drive time they were literally two and a half miles down the street that's it the next one's about two miles down the street i can do that all day long so i'm headed to number five for the day it's going to be what do they call it an excellent day ted <laughs> so that one went really really well it's just it was just a small microwave i could pick it up and throw it in the truck and he gave me a tip so it wound up being <laughs> it wound up being very very good and that was the second tip of the day so I wound up picking up the microwave. It was very simple to do. He also gave me an overhead light he added to it, um, which I'll be able to uh, repurpose, and uh, which is awesome. It all works. It's one of those shop lights, and you hang over your toolbox or your bench, and I'll sell that at the garage sale in a heartbeat. Um, and then the man gave me a tip, and uh, it was the second tip today. So we are so thankful for our customers. We love them. Um, and back to back to this guys I don't want nobody doing any business here but me and so I'm willing to bend a little bit on my prices uh, just to keep it in my pocket I learned that from my SEO uh, he basically said it's better you do it than somebody else and he, I think he's absolutely right I won't do it free and I won't do it for uh, nonprofit but I will do it for less if I have to. If I feel like I need to maneuver my price a little bit, I wanna be that person in town because people know people. And I'm not locked into any price, I'm just doing business. And it's good business to know what you're capable of doing. That's another thing, guys. You want to know your numbers. You want to know what it costs to go across town versus around the corner. And those kind of numbers really allow you a freedom to lock in a price and get it and still make a profit. And profit is the name of the game here. It's not just making a living. It's making a living plus. Those are what I just called. I just dumped them free. That and that little microwave right on top there, the silver one. And what was cool is we had... Uh, a person in front of us that had to move because they were dropping off some paint and stuff and he drives by and he goes do you haul mattresses and i go i sure do and he goes we'll be giving you a call and why am i showing you easy go it's because they can read that from anywhere and when i drove by it that's exactly what they did and they said boom we'll call you another job is in the works so that's a uh, business 101 get your get your trailer Get your truck marked. Advertising. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Hey.